Hey guys, Bud here with another quick tutorial on how to create eye-catching creative briefs using Adobe InDesign. So InDesign is another powerful tool from Adobe that lets you create interactive PDFs, presentations, posters, flyers, ebooks, you name it. And although the interface seems a little daunting at first, you'll actually be surprised how easy it is for filmmakers and other small business creatives to build presentations that wow their clients. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to build a one-page creative brief or treatment, basically, from the ground up using Adobe InDesign. So let's take a look at what we'll be creating. This is an example creative brief that we used for one of our recent short brand film projects. Now we've developed this brand film template over the course of several years, and we love it because it's a simple one-page treatment that incorporates lots of white space and visuals. It just feels clean and appeals to us visually. Furthermore, we've distilled and broken down our vision for the project into five core questions that our clients have when going over story development, and I'll get into these a little later. These one-pagers, as we call them, have become a core component of our project deliverables, and our clients love to receive them. It makes them feel like they're a part of the creative process. Feel free to use this template as inspiration for your very own story development documents. So let's get right into building one of these. To start things off, we're gonna create a new document by going to File, New, Document. And we'll see this document settings window open up. Navigate to the Web tab, name your document, and I like to create a PDF with a, a higher resolution, so I'll, I'll shoot for 1366 by 768. I'm a filmmaker, I like working in landscape, so I'm gonna set my orientation to landscape. And click Create. Now depending on your default settings, you may see a safe area guide around the perimeter of your page. Now this isn't going to render out when you export the final, and you can toggle it off by navigating to the View Options drop-down menu and unchecking the Guides option. I like to have all my guides turned on when I'm creating templates, and I'm going to adjust the zoom here. 40% looks good. Alright, next we're going to create three text boxes and six rectangular frames that will house our images. Altogether, nine elements here in our document. Let's start with the text boxes. I'll navigate to the Type tool and select it. With the Type tool selected, I'll click and drag to create a text box. And for this text box, I'm just going to put the word title for now. We're going to change all this later. Next, I'm going to create two more text boxes. And I'm going to arrange them into two columns of equal size. And I'm going to center those in my document. So I'll just copy and paste my title text and name these column 1 and column 2. And don't worry about fonts or character size at the moment. We're going to go back and change all of this. Okay, we have our text boxes created. Now let's create our image frames. So I'll navigate to my toolbox and I'm going to select the rectangle frame tool. With the rectangle frame tool selected, I'll click and drag to create my frame. And I'm going to align the bottom left corner of my frame to the bottom left corner of my document and I'll stretch the right edge of this frame to about the center point of my first text column. This is where the guides start to come in handy. I'll copy and paste this frame, and I'm gonna push it over to the right, aligning the right edge of the frame to the center of my document. And I'm gonna adjust the height so that it's half the size of the previous frame. I'll copy that frame and place another directly below it. Now I'm going to copy all three of these frames and paste them to the right of the ones I've already created to finish out my image frames. There we have it. Three text boxes and six rectangle frames to make up our nine elements in this creative brief template. So now that we have the bones of our creative brief in place, let's start by filling in our content from top to bottom. In our title element, we're going to use the following naming structure, okay? Title of the document followed by company or client name, and the name of the project. The title of the document can be whatever you like. It's treatment, story and visuals, proposal, etc. I like to keep things simple. I'm going to call this story and visuals. Hit the space. I'll drop in the company name in all caps, followed by the Sheffer stroke. 
and the name of the project. You can use whatever font scheme you'd like. I usually like to stick to two fonts, one for my headings and another for my body text. I'm going to use DIN Condensed for my headings and a combination of Roboto Light and Light Italics for proper nouns for my body text. Now looking to our two text columns, okay, this is, this is where our written content's gonna reside. This is where we're gonna put the meat of the creative proposal, okay? We like to keep our creative briefs light, focused, and impactful. And we've distilled our project proposals into five core components, each one representing our client's most asked questions during the concept and story development phase. Those questions are, what is the idea? How does it unfold? How will it be filmed? How do we feel after we've watched it? How long will the film be? And what kind of music? For more information and tips on how you can effectively answer these questions for your clients and your creative briefs, be sure to check out the blog post that accompanies this video on premiumbeat.com blog. For now though, let's assume you've had that first meeting with a client, you know their expectations, and maybe you've picked up a few mood words. You've got an idea for a general storyline, perhaps a few particulars on how you're gonna shoot it. Now it's time to plug in all of that information here. You can work directly in the document, or you can do what I did and just copy and paste this information over from a word processor. So I'll drop all of this in, and I'm gonna do a little formatting as I go. Hang on. All right, now it's time for the fun part, adding our images. This is where we share the visual aesthetic of our project with the client. You can use photos from previous projects or a combination of your own photos and stock photos to fill in the section. But the whole idea here is to create a visual aesthetic for the film. What lighting choices are we gonna make? What will the characters look like? What elements from your storyline can you illustrate for your clients? Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words. So fill in the knowledge gaps that your clients may have and paint them a clear picture of your vision for the project. Once you've gathered your images, I recommend resizing them to a width of about 2000 pixels. Okay, this is gonna keep your overall file size down. Once you've resized your images and you're ready to drop them into your document, select one of your rectangle frames by clicking on the frame one time. With the frame selected, navigate to File, Place. Navigate to the image you'd like to use and click OK. Once imported, the image may be too large for the frame or the composition might be a little off. To fix this, right click the frame and navigate to fitting and select fill frame proportionally. Do this for all of your images. If you need to adjust the composition of the image after it's been resized, double click on the image and use your arrow keys to adjust the placement of the image within the frame. Now, with our images in place, we finished our creative brief. Now let's export our PDF by going to File, Export. I'm gonna name it. I'll select where I'd like to save the file, and I'm gonna make sure that I have Adobe PDF selected, and I'm gonna click Save. A second window is gonna open, and this is where I can adjust things like page ranges. Do I wanna, do I wanna export all the pages or just one? Uh, compression settings, bleed settings, etc. But most of the settings are already ready to go for you, so just click export, and there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. For more information how to take your creative briefs to the next level, be sure you check out the article that accompanies this tutorial on premiumbeat.com blog. Thanks, guys. Cheers.